to us was was part of the magic, you know, the good and evil, I guess, as as it became known later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really interesting how, like, say, like something like Nirvana, Smell Like Teen Spirit, took very very similar influence, that same Pixies influence, to create that song uh-huh. that Nate took to create like Boston's sound. Uh huh. It's uh, it's kind of fascinating how um, the seeds create different branches for different people. Absolutely. You know, you got to think of. So let's say somebody's inspired by that. Encounter a whole other group of people, and they're you know, trying to make different kinds of music. And the, the shows that you start, no, nothing informs, I think, the way your, your band starts sounding. Like the show, the type of shows you play in the beginning, the bands you play with, and the people that come to see you. You know, those are the you know, coffee houses and all these shows. That was the biggest thing for the Boston. You know, we had been together before Devil's Night Out. We, largely playing 21 plus shows because those were our friends at the beginning of those shows. You know, opening up for a band like Scruffy the Cat or, you know, the, the um, you know, it was, those people were a little too cool for the Boston. They little, <laughs> maybe some of them a little too old for the Boston's, you know, at that point. It wasn't until we got signed to Tang and started playing all Asia shows. You know, that was a, we went from, like, first of four bar band, hundred cap. So like now we're playing first and four at the channel opening for Slapshot on an all Asian show. You know? Yeah, much better. It makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Positioning yourself in the right place <laughs> was a big part of the Boston success too. Like we, we, we found our constituency. There were you know younger people who were into faster and more aggressive music. Yeah, you definitely have this audience that develops in the late '80s and '90s, and it's like all about listening to all kinds of music. So when you hear bands that are saying like, well, we play all kinds of music. It's like, yeah, ex- great. I- I'm a fan. <laughs> right. The Boston scene felt like that to me for a long time. And, and you know, maybe still doesn't, but, but I don't really go to that many shows anymore. But like, you know, the, the ska band playing with the garage band playing with the, you know, whatever hardcore band or, or something like that. Like I always, 